Hey, this is Reborn Wolf Gaming, and we're back with Stray and our cute kitty cat self. We've just escaped jail. <laughs> we're uh, fugitives, and Clementine, for some un odd reason, had to sacrifice themselves to give us time to escape. Which I wish they would have just came with us down in these tunnels. Um. <laughs> we have the, a key to the train, I believe. Uh, it's a little sad. So how do we insert this key? Is it on the other side? At least, at least I think we have a key. Oh yeah, so we have to power it up. We got this battery thing, right? And... Hold on, maybe I gotta go over there real quick. That looks like a switch. But uh, at, before we pass these things, there's a, a cable here, right? Leading to this thing that we can insert something in, right? Right here. Maybe this will power up the train a bit. So we have this atomic battery. <laughs> I thought we were gonna put it into the train, but, but no. Oh, that's gonna be something for the future, right? That maybe not everybody's aware of, but technology out there, right? We're tr we've been trying to figure out how to make nuclear energy more viable. Well, I mean, it's already very viable as it is. We should be using it more than, you know, quote unquote green energies. Um, and we've we've even had a breakthrough in fusion technology, which is awesome, right? We we finally hit ignition. Um, in one of our labs, um, which means we've, we've made, not only have we hit net zero where the amount of energy we put into a fusion reaction is uh, equal to what, what what is produced, but we've actually uh, make energy from it now based on this uh, scientific test we just recently had. And all we have to do is increase like the, what's it called? The efficiency of the lasers, because those things are like super, super old that we've been using. Um, but not only that, there's other ways of doing that too. Where we can have like miniaturized nuclear reactors, which is it's not great for like nuclear proliferation if we think about it, but to make weapons grade uh, <laughs> nuclear stuff, I imagine something that small can't do it, you know? It's not anytime soon. It's very dark. I kind of want to look at a window or something. I can sit in this chair and do it. But it looks like we've already hit our destination. I want to check real quick if we're recording. We are. Oh, jeez, my ears. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not a mag rail, right? This place is so much cleaner. Look at comparison, right? All these tiles are not like dystopian, not well maintained. Even down here looks like cleaned up. Right, huh? There's a companion over there. Oh, don't touch the third rail, by the way. <laughs> and don't pee on it either. Hey, there's a companion here. Just look. This guy does such a good job. Look at this guy. Helper four seven seven. How may I help you? Oh, look at this guy. Enjoy the world's safest city, Walled City 99. Is that where we are? So cool. Okay, yeah. This is our only... Everything's so clean. I mean, these, these cones could use a bit of a touch-up. And, like, over there could use a touch-up. Stairs? What? Who's that for, right? Or a cat. We don't need stairs. This place is so sterile. Why is Midtown so crap in comparison to this place? These guys are pruning the trees. <laughs> Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City City. Or Walled City. <laughs> Why did I say city twice? Walled City 99. Now I said it three times. Now I gotta take a drink. You know, a shot or something. These guys don't have very much programming. I wonder if, like, they're... Hold on. 
like look at these guys are definitely not like human aberrants or of the downstairs. These guys are definitely robots, right? Very methodical, very computerized, efficient. I am currently painting this area. Please be careful, the white paint. Have a nice day. Coin responses. No personality whatsoever. They all look the same. Orange, so people notice what they are. Totally different from the, the inhabitants from below. City sealed. City sealed. Oh, somebody uh, needs to fix that. Violating the rules of confinement will result in heavy prison sentence. Wow. Greeting is inhabited at Wall City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Do we have any engineers? Do you have robot engineers or do we actually have somebody living? Hey, buddy. Hello, how may I help you? That's not very helpful. Okay. I mean, we could ask. We could have a... How about you? Hello, the city has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to any certified engineer in the control room. I, I mean, I'm what I'm looking for right now by talking to all these people, and Mr. Squeegee Robot over here, is if anybody's trying to hide in plain sight. Hello, my current task is clean the window. Please refer to any certified engineer. Okay. So, obviously, the engineer might know something more. But the way that things are going on, probably not. And there's like a, a thing that we can inspect here. And <laughs> B12 hacking his way through here. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Well, B12, you're not. Well, I don't know. That's a philosophical question right there, right? Somehow we can interact with that. I'm not sure what that is. Let's say a garbage chute or something. We got elevators. Um, how are we gonna do this? Huh? Oh, what's this? On off. Maybe we need to get it closer to that. Okay, just went there automatically. Mm -hmm. What now? Do we need two? There's also a trash can thing here too. I'm not sure what the point of that was. Maybe there's another one somewhere. But it seemed to go there by itself. Hmm. Kitty, you see anything? I mean, all, everything is closed. Game, I am confused. I could use a hit. Ah, there we go. Okay. Q. Meow. Oh. Did I not do it in time? What am I supposed to do here? Inspect. Oh. <laughs> yes! We're a menace to society. Fear us. And our kitty cat like cuteness. Mm. 
This is the control room from the entire city. And they controlled everything from here, and it's empty. It is. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limited power, limitless power, freedom to move, little good go to did them. The plague, I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I could still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry in the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Wait, what? I mean, sometimes scientists and engineers don't exactly get along because, like, one argues, like, the practicality, the, in the here and now, and the scientists will argue uh, what's theoretically possible, right? Um. <laughs> But sometimes, you know, scientists and engineers can, like, kind of coexist in the same space. But how did these people that were above it all, right, uh, within this dome of some sort, maybe they're trying to keep out the Zerks of some sort, right? And uh, so the I am looking down here. The, the city down below, the slums or whatever, is infected. It's still down there. That's the the tower that we sent our signal from, right? And the mid-city, if that's mid-city, is still on the outskirts of that. But how did all these humans up here die, right? We still got... If they were above it all and they were contained, sealed, you know? What we got? This is the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in lockdown, on a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. B12, I'm still not sure that's a good idea. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Okay. These long rows of computers need to be turned on. Okay. B12, what about the Zerks? And I mean, like... To me, it was like, what was it called? The, the disruptor thing, right? That we're using? <laughs> was, it looked like UV light to me, right? And if, if they die to sunlight, let's just say, right? Well, for one, how did they kill all of humanity? <laughs> If it was, if they died to sunlight, because it just, you, you need to wait for the next day. Oops, so you turned it off. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's something other than UV light. It worked. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control station. System is locked. There's that workstation to open the city. There are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what is we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Yes! It's exactly what we're good at. Okay, yeah. So how do we destroy stuff? What do we do? Tell us more. How we destroy stuff. Huh. Enjoy the world's safest city. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
That looks like something we need to destroy. So how would you destroy it? Hmm. Oh, what's this? <laughs> you made a mistake. Not make it a cat proof. That's one down. Oh, hack. Oh, B12, you okay? Uh, that system is taking more than I... Is talking... Taking more than I expected. Okay, yeah. Intrusion alert! Uh-oh. Maybe we should do this quickly. The V12, are you sure? Oh no, we gotta keep going. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And... Q. <laughs> Man, who... Okay, co engineers, like... Are known for over-engineering things, but this is just lazy. Like, come on. You put, like, one metal board up like that? That's, that's so lazy. You could have just drilled a couple holes for these wires, you know? Made, like, a whole panel for that. Okay. Th that's just unprofessional. <laughs> B12, man. <laughs> Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that works. B12, I'm not sure that's the issue here. You're getting zapped, okay? That's that's too much electricity. And you're like on a one track like mission to like open up the roof. How do we know Zerks can't fly or like they they don't like spread spores or something? Okay, I see cables leading to somewhere down here. Okay, B12. We're doing it. I'm just a cat over, you know. Who am I to question? I gotta press the big red button. And I gotta find out. I, I think I can... This little body is done for. It's okay. I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation and we can disable that alarm. You said this little body is done for. You sure you're okay? B12. We don't want to lose you, little buddy. We came here to- you said together, right? You gave your word. That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you- oh, come on. I knew the power required to disable the city's central controls, control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. With the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. No, B12. I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the odds. I thought I needed to carry out the memories of humanity to hold out to the past. I see a future in the convenience in you. Here, let me take that off you. My B12. You are my friend, the very best I could ask for. Thank you. Oh. B12. I just wanted to go home. Let the city rot. No. No. <laughs> Why? Clementine and now you? We barely knew Clementine. I don't really care about that. But you, B12. We saved each other. Shall be a whole new world, too. So that's gonna happen. The roof's opening. Light shines. Yeah, UV light. So the Gundam is producing UV light. These guys all pop like pimples. The robots get to see sunlight in the sky for the first time.
Wait, what? Is it because we took out the control system, or...? Waiting for B12 to wake up, that's all. He's not waking up, kiddo. <laughs> oh, we can go back to. <laughs> oh, no! Uh... Man. I mean, I've heard of dogs and cats, like. Staying in the same area that their their owner used to be, right? They they passed on, but the dog was still there, or the cat was still there, and uh, yeah, it's we did it. B twelve. I can see this the sky once more. And everything below is cleaner for it. B12, are you sure? I mean, it could have been a lie the whole time. This whole city structure was just a test. And that was an abandoned project, you know? Because it, it looks like a, not just a walled city, but like, huge immense walls. There's, there's definitely cracks in like the, the watering system and stuff like that. But, and these zerks could probably live underground, where there isn't sunlight touching them. I wonder where it's gonna pan to. Just the bright sun. In the sky. Alright. <laughs> Maybe I'll actually add one of my thumbnails to the video. Jeez. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can escape the outside world. There was that door, right? Where all the robots go. Hey, you gotta open that door. He just bowed to us. Okay. The stair has not seen use in forever. But we're free back to the outside world. Butterflies. Birds even. There's other living things. He did say he was gonna go into the control system there. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, eye opener. That was a good game. I gotta skip, see if there's anything else going on.
No, and that's it. That's Stray. That was a good story. Oh, wow. Ah, man. Well, what, sto what series we're going to start next after this one? Um, I don't think we're going to be able to replace it with anything that cool um, and that, you know, story-esque. But there's uh, another game on Steam called High on Life. It's more, um, I don't know what to call it, to be honest. It's like it's its, it's own type of crazy. Um, based on the trailers I've seen. I haven't watched any uh, gameplay just yet, so I'll definitely be playing that game blind if you want to watch it uh, with why I play it as I record it for YouTube. But yeah, um, I'm glad, I, I hope some of you guys like the series, and I hope you guys return. Leave a, a like if you wish, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys later for the next one. See ya. Bye.